Hi guys, my name is Alex. In this tutorial I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to create this low poly and high poly model of the shotgun. This tutorial is made after watching the tutorial from Aren Valis. Thank you Aren Valis for your great tutorial on how to create these models. Here I'm going just to make some tips on how to make your modeling easier. First of all, you have to you have to have this layer manager visible. If you don't have it, you should right click on the toolbar and click on the layers, and then dock this somewhere on your page. Afterwards, you should create new layers, uh, like I have here. For default, I have one for the high poly version, for the low poly version, and for this tutorial. This is great because you can now make visible only the, the things you want to see here we have the low poly version and afterwards it comes handy uh, when we create low poly and uh, normal maps and stuff like this so first of all we have this default layer where I have this background image how you sh you can create this uh, background image you can watch uh, my other tutorials I would just would like to make sure that everything is centered on the zero value of the axis so I'm going to right click on the select and move and right click on these buttons to make them the zero value So I made this model by by starting with the plane on, with one segments on the well, seg one segments then uh, Altex to make it uh, transparent and convert it to edible poly. Then I just uh, Selected edges and select one edge and holding shift and click and drag it and then just move the vertices to the appropriate position. Then I selected the edges and connect them two edges and then just these edges I move them outwards so we get some volume on our model so uh, this is the same way I made all the parts I just select edge and then shift and drag it to make the basic form of the model and then made some additional edges and then just pull them outwards to make a volume on these models. So we can see here we just are creating the half of this uh, model. Before we uh, use the before we use the symmetry modifier we can bridge We can we should bridge these two edges and now when we select let's do this uh, this part two. So now when we select we should select the edge which will represent the center of the whole model and use the symmetry modifier and Use the appropriate axis, and here we have the whole model. So, this is a low poly version right here. And when we are creating high poly version, we should uh, add a turbo smooth modifier. So, for this purpose, I'm going to just delete. These parts uh, 
just to make it quicker. So here we have the low poly version with Turbo Smooth modifier applied to it, and it looks like it's high poly version. So we are going to create these bolts, but not by dividing this base model, but by creating these bolts totally separate. So we're going to use box. Make the same value for all the sides and applying turbo smooth. And we now get this nice sphere looking model. And we can add spherify modifier to it just to make it more sphere look like. Then we collapse all and convert it to edible poly. Then we should select the back side of it with polygons deleted, the outer edges and with select an uniform scale selected and holding shift and just drag it outwards. Then we should move everything on just on the edge of this base model and make it uh, same color then we attach it and when now when we look at it, it by making the shade version of it we can see it looks like this bolt is a part of this base model but we know this is not true, but it looks like so. This is how you can easily create easily create this this part these parts and also this indention parts. This is made the same way. The only difference is that I selected these polygons and then detached them as clones and then make the selection of the edge and select a uniform scale and push them outwards and made the indention with moving them in the space. So this way we can create this kind of look which is great for creating normal maps and which we are going to apply them uh, to low poly model which has no no intentions out tensions at all but after we apply the normal map it will look like the bolts and these intentions are created so Sometimes when we are creating something like sphere, no, cylinder for example, from the front view, and now we have this, and we want to turn it, after we turn it, we should go to utilities, reset X form and reset selected. This way we are making sure that every modifier that we apply to this rotated version is going to be it's going to be applied correctly. So when we are creating the low poly versions of the models we should make sure that we delete the polygons that are not going to be seen for example after when we are creating we are creating barrel we we can 
deleted the polygons that are at the end of this barrel. So this way we get the poly count uh, lower and we don't have to worry about the polygons that are not going to be seen anyway. So uh, when we are creating the low poly versions of uh, of the models and the high poly versions of the models, we should be concerned about the poly count. We can check the poly count after on utilities more and polygon counter. And we should select the count polygons, and we can see that we have almost 230,000 polygons on all the objects that we created, which is a lot. And if we select everything that is seen here, we can see that almost all the polygons are on this high poly version uh, of the of this model, and when we select the low poly version we can see that the low poly is only made out of 583 polygons which is great for animation and games and other stuff where you can uh, make your computer's life easier uh, and after we apply the normal maps from high poly models to the low poly models these low poly models were look almost exactly like this high poly model. So uh, this is it from my part. Uh, make sure when you create the low poly models, you select all the polygons, and you can see we have this. Uh, different smoothing modifier, mod different smoothing groups applied to it, and you should clear them all. Uh, and we just afterwards we just uh, made the selections of different parts of the polygon groups and make them separately in different smoothing groups. This way we when we apply the UV modifier we have an easier task of slicing them and afterwards when we are applying images for color or something. So this is it from my part. Make sure if you want to watch the detailed version of creating this model you Watch the tutorials from Arenovalis. Uh, and this is it. Thanks, guys, for listening, and till next time. Bye.